Well, you know, a migraine isn't just simply a headache. It's really a syndrome. It is one of the most chronic diseases known to man. It's, I think, the third most chronic disease known to man. It's certainly one of the most disabling with respect to time lost out of family life, work, uh, and other activities. So uh, a migraine is really a syndromic disease. I mean, some people have a prodrome or a time before they actually have pain where they experience uh, different various symptoms depending on the person. It could be a craving. It could be uh, a heightened sense of awareness. It could be a deja vu feeling. Uh, there are various what we call auras. The most common one is usually the visual aura, which affects about 25% of the migraine sufferers. This can be a blurring of the vision. It could be shimmering lights. It could be kaleidoscope vision. Rarely people will uh, experience what they call an Alice in Wonder, uh, Wonderland syndrome, where you know a hand may seem bigger, the floor may seem closer, hallways seem narrower. It's a very strange phenomenon. This is sometimes very scary to people. And then usually the headache will come and that may come on either gradually over several minutes, it can build up over hours. Typical duration of migraines anywhere from four to 72 hours. And during that time, it could be a headache that's you know, moderate or severe, incapacitating. Uh, many of these people can't function either at home, at work, they can't think straight. There's a feeling of you know, feeling confused, lethargy, being tired, uh, nauseous, sensitive to noise, sensitive to smells. And then there's sort of this washout period where the, what we call the post-drone, where people feel tired, uh, just you know, empty and, and so forth. So it's just not your everyday sort of headache, um, like a stress headache would be, for example. But it comes and goes. So treatment options can be anywhere from you know, lifestyle modification, could be eliminating triggers, because migraine is a, basically a disease of triggers. So it's alcohol, artificial sweeteners, chocolate, et cetera. We try to eliminate triggers and identify those. Then we get into treatments such as therapies. We get into treatments such as medications. And those could be medications that would, you would use at the time of headache or treatments that you take every day to prevent headaches because many of these patients enter a chronic state of migraine. Many times either the migraine transforms itself because pain begets more pain or from what is typically uh, felt to be an overuse syndrome. These patients taking sinus medications, over-the-counter medications, aspirin, Tylenol, ibuprofen, Aleve, and this just sets up a vicious cycle that uh, in fact is very difficult to break sometimes. Well, interestingly, you know, in the past 20 years, we've had some interesting developments. We've had some serotonin receptor blocker drugs that have come out on the market. And more recently, we're more excited about the new class of medications that have come out uh, just in 2018, the monoclonal antibodies. So these are uh, drugs that we inject. Uh, they're very safe. Uh, there's about a 3% incidence of constipation, which usually goes away. And basically, within one or two cycles of treatment, which is usually on a monthly basis, someone's injecting their leg or their arm, uh, they will see a response. And there's about an 80% responder rate, which is pretty high. So as neurologists, we're very excited about that treatment. Many of these patients come in, and they've lived with their headaches for years and years. They don't really, some of them don't know what it's like to live without their headache. And they actually live their lives around their headache. I mean, they will plan activities and social functions around their migraine. And when we are able to change that for them, it's just uh, altering. And we, we do that every day, and that's the satisfying part of my job. When I, someone comes in and tells me how effective the treatment is or how many less headaches they have per month, I mean, that's, that's what it's all about.